mean, it's, uh, it's been going on for probably 40 or 50 years or more. Mm -hmm. But what uh, some of the small studies that have been done, um, certainly in C. diff, it's, it's uh, like a 95 to 100 percent success rate. Uh, people who are resistant to the flagell, the vancomycin, um, these, these, are, these are antibiotics where they no longer, uh, they're not effective in those particular... Right, these people have been on antibiotics, they developed, basically what happens, all the good bacteria is killed, the C. diff is uh, in the colon in many people in very tiny numbers and is allowed to take over. It creates a very serious diarrheal illness with very serious colitis, sometimes ending in removal of the total colon or death. Whereas uh, something as simple as, as fecal transplantation you basically have a donor, usually it's a family member. Um, they're screened for any infectious agents such as uh, parasites, bad bacteria, and that uh, stool sample is used, processed, um, and uh, implanted into the, into the patient. And uh, the numbers are pretty amazing for the uh, C. diff um, colitis patients, but we're also seeing some major benefits in ulcerative colitis and possibly Crohn's colitis as well. A lot of those studies are, are going on right now. So what you're doing is you're reestablishing the population exactly. in, a, in, a simple, in simple terms of the mm -hmm. bacteria that's healthy and supposed to be there to break down the food exactly. and manage the last stage kind of a yeah. digestion. Um, you just have to realize that the, the colon has trillions of bacteria and uh, the stool and a transplant, you have trillions of different bacteria. Um, probably a thousand different species, many which we have not even isolated yet. And a lot of those probably have benefits that we're not even aware of yet. Mm -hmm. So by transplanting the entire, we call it a human probiotic transplantation, you're basically taking the probiotics from one person, putting them in another, and, uh, and we're seeing some major benefits. Mm -hmm. um, and just to point out, even on uh, TV during prime time, you're starting to see ads for Activia and people are starting mm -hmm. to go, oh, it's important for me to eat yogurt. This is yeah. why, this is why, because there's a very complex biosphere mm -hmm. that is going on there and if it's disrupted, Absolutely. then you can be in serious trouble. Um, we sort of covered the auto intoxication question. Um, do you think that the uh, American Medical Association or any of the three GI boards would eventually really adopt and endorse this therapy? I think so. I think it just takes time and uh, uh, it may have to start at the grassroots level like it is now and then move uh, um, between practices 